Moji's play senses vibrations in the objects it is attached to. When these objects are touched in different ways, Moji's play interprets them into sounds or actions on screen. You can use pretty much anything around you. The software we've made is extensive. Jam makes you the artist, giving you accessible tools to instantly build rhythms, melodies and loops using the acoustic properties of the objects around you. Pulse is an addictive rhythm game. It's fast, fun and unlike anything you've played before. It teaches the building blocks of rhythm by stealth, from simple dance beats to Afro-Cuban patterns. At Moji's, we want as many people as possible to use Moji's Play. So we will be sharing our technology with everyone, allowing developers to invent new ways to inspire, entertain and teach with Moji's Play. With your help, Moji's Play will be super affordable. We will include software as a free service. Our Kickstarter backers will get new features and apps in the future as we develop them and we'll also offer special Moji's Play plans for educational and therapeutic organizations. With your support, we want to help a new generation of musicians, students, gamers and tech pioneers around the world to start playing and creating with this unique technology. We need your help to achieve our ambition of bringing a truly unique device for gaming, music, and education to life. Help us to launch Moji's Play as an affordable product by supporting this campaign. Thank you. Kids these days are always out and about, and we as parents need a reliable way to make sure our kids are safe at all times. Meet Doki Watch, the first ever smartwatch and wearable phone for kids that features GPS tracking and video calling. Hi, Dad. Hey, honey, you done with dance class? Yep, we're gonna take the metro home. Okay, honey, we'll be safe. I'll see you at home. Doki Watch makes it easy for modern families to stay connected. Do you wanna go to the skate park later? Okay, let me call my mom. Not all kids are ready for smartphones just yet. With Doki Watch, kids can make calls to a preset list of contacts on their family list. Hey, Mom, can I go to the skate park? Sure, honey, just be home in time for dinner. Doki Watch uses advanced GPS, GSM, and Wi-Fi technology to help parents conveniently and accurately track their child's location. We also made Doki Watch fun by creating Doki Pet, a virtual pet that lives in your kid's smartwatch, which also acts as a fitness tracker. Hey dude, I'm at the skate park. You should totally to come. Doki Watch allows kids to send voice messages and emojis to their friends, enabling them to keep in touch in a fun and playful way. Bluetooth pairing gives kids the ability to add their friends to their contact list, and parents will always be in the loop. Emergencies big and small can pop up at any time. The SOS function allows kids to send immediate alerts to their parents, triggering continuous GPS tracking of their location and a live recording of surrounding sounds. Doki Watch gives parents the peace of mind they crave and kids the freedom to be kids. Doki, big solutions in one small device. Hi, I'm Casper, founder and CEO of Doki Technologies. For the past 12 months, we've been working to develop the most advanced and complete smartwatch for kids. Doki Watch is the world's first true smartwatch and wearable phone for kids that features 3G connectivity and video calling. It runs on the Android 4.4 platform and features full color display on a TFT touch panel screen. It's the first kid's smartwatch of its kind. At Doki Technologies, we believe that not all kids are ready for smartphones just yet. That's why we've developed Doki Watch, the world's most advanced smartwatch for kids. With all basic communication features, Doki Watch has the added benefit of providing reassurance for parents and safety and independence for kids. We believe that video calling is a very important feature to give parents that extra peace of mind. You'll be able to call your kids or grandkids through our video calling feature and see them whenever you want to. We also made sure that Doki Watch was designed in a way that appeals to kids. Design is fun, cool, and functional at the same time. Hi, I'm Ross and I want everyone to be able to create their own robot. Being creative with technology is about more than just programming. It's about making and learning and having fun. Meet the Crafty Robot. 
It's a paper toy, but not like any other. Plug Crafty into a USB, and you've got a moving robot. But not just one robot. With Crafty's motor, the Fizzbit, you can make your own robots from paper, with a 3D printer, or almost anything. We have designs you can download and print at home. So if you want to replay Kanye vs Taylor, see Trump take on Putin, unicorn yourself or even build your own football team, all you need is some card and a printer. You'll even be able to share your designs with the community. Everyone hates it when their toys run out of batteries. Because crafty robots don't use batteries and Fizzbits can be reused in dozens of robots, they deliver maximum fun for a minimum of the Earth's resources. I've come to you because I want you to be able to get crafty robots at a good price. And we're making everything in the UK. So you'll know workplace conditions and quality are what you'd want. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brooke. And we created Jewelbots to get girls excited about coding. There's been a lot of talk about women in tech and getting girls more involved in STEM. While classes are a great start, we're working to architect the next step. We want to ignite girls' curiosity and get them problem-solving and building solutions of their own. So we're designing Jewelbots, friendship bracelets for the iPhone era. Jewelbots allow friends to communicate in exciting new ways. The bracelets vibrate and light up so girls can send each other messages using Morse code or be alerted when their friends are nearby. And the setup is super simple. There's no coding required. The girls can use the Jewelbots app to program their bracelets, so it works right out of the box. And once they get the hang of it, that's when things start getting really fun. Jewelbots are open source, so girls can use the Arduino IDE to make them do just about anything. They can get an alert when they have a new Instagram follower or when their dad is about to come pick them up. They can even control a drone. Our hope is to get girls so excited about programming their Jewelbot that they inspire one another to create amazing functionality while learning to code. Millions of kids have already taught themselves how to code in order to build mods for Minecraft or to customize their MySpace page back in the day. And we want to harness that energy and build something for girls because we're girly. And being girly doesn't mean you can't also like science and technology. So let's get building. We're working on Scratch Junior, which is a programming language for young kids, specifically designed for five to seven year olds. And it's designed with them in mind, so it's developmentally appropriate, and children can create animated stories, interactive games, collages, or anything they imagine. I like Scratch Junior because there's so many programs that you could make. It's like you can make your own movie. You basically get to make your own game and do it yourself. A few years ago, my research group at the MIT Media Lab introduced Scratch, a new programming language that lets kids ages eight and up create their own interactive stories and games and animations. And kids around the world have been making millions of projects with Scratch. A couple of years ago, we started a collaboration with Mitch at the MIT Media Lab to explore how we could extend Scratch for a version that's specifically designed for young children. Here's how the game works. You have to guess which one from this row makes which one from this row invisible. And you win if you, you, win if you get all three right. Computer programming or coding is like a new form of writing, a new type of literacy. Like writing, when people learn to code, they learn new ways of organizing their thinking, new ways of expressing ideas. So when you learn to code, you're learning many other things. You're not just learning to code, you're coding to learn. Now until now, people have generally seen coding as something very difficult, accessible only to a small subset of the population. But that's starting to change. We really think that coding can be and should be for everyone. We believe that learning how to code is a way to express yourself. It allows children to think in a systematic way. So while they're expressing themselves, they're also thinking about steps and problem solving and what comes first and what comes next, and that's sequencing. And sequencing is an important skill that leads to academic success. Do you know what that does? No, it's only makes it wait 50 seconds. Wow, how did you know? There's a clock. 
in sector. We designed Scratch Junior to match developmental abilities of young children. We look at cognitive, social, personal capabilities and we design the features of Scratch Junior to match what young children can do. We work with teachers, we work with children, we work with parents and we observed what they were able to do, what they were not able to do, and we went back and redesigned Scratch Junior many, many, many times, so it can really be a tool for young children. Being a teacher in an inclusive classroom, we have such differentiated needs, so this idea that there's an entry point for all the different kids in my class, regardless of where they're at with their learning, there's some way that they can get into it and start playing around and start learning how to create things, that there's a a point of entry for everybody in my class. Yeah.